Hi everyone, welcome to Kay's Favorite Things. And today we're out cutting trees down outside. Matter of fact, my husband's out there with the tractor right now, uh, moving some of them, but I thought I'd run in here real quick. I've gotta get this cake baked so that it can cool down. And I've already put it in the mixer and I should have turned the uh, camera on, but I forgot. What's in this is one box of cake mix. And I like the yellow cake mix, but this was all I had. I had white, so that's what I'm using. One box of cake mix, a fourth of a cup of oil, I've got vegetable oil, a fourth of a cup of water, and three eggs, and one stick of butter. So we're gonna whip this up, and then we'll come back. I'm gonna put it in the pans, and I'll show you how I do that. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I've got these split between three pans, and there's not that much batter in each pan. This batter is very, very thick also. The only other thing you're going to need for this recipe is some fresh strawberries. I'm going to cut those up, put a little bit of sugar in them, and some heavy whipping cream. And, of course, in that heavy whipping cream, you want to add some vanilla and some sugar to it, too. So I'm going to get these baking in a 350-degree oven, and we'll see how long it takes, and I'll tell you that when we come back. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, everybody, we're back. I've got my cake. This one got a little bit browner because it was in a different type of pan, but that's fine. What I like to do is on the bottom, I like to put a little bit of juice and put my cake on it, just like that. And now we're gonna start putting our whipped cream. I whipped this, I put a little sugar in it. I always like to make extra because I want to uh, make sure that I have enough. And what you do is you just layer it. And the good thing is it's gonna absorb into the cake and it's gonna soften that cake and make it delicious. I like to kinda build the edges up on the side so it'll hold those strawberries. And then you put some strawberries and you layer it. It's just like strawberry shortcake. like that. And then you put your next layer. And kind of mash it down a bit. And then you keep going. And the same thing. This smells so good. I wish that uh, you could try this because it it's much better than strawberry shortcake. It's just delicious and so simple and easy to do. And it's just a it's a cake that everybody loves. So you put your layer on strawberries and juice. And you want plenty of it because you want that moisture to. absorb. Then you put your last layer on. And you kind of mash it down. See how pretty that's looking? So we'll come back in just a minute after I get this finished up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay everybody, we're back. I've got it finished. I've got all the whipped cream on it. I've got a lot of strawberries on top and I just drop a lot of juice around it because that juice will absorb into the cake. So you really, you should wait at least overnight before you eat this because you want that cake to get really moist and good. But this is one of the best cakes for summertime. So, and it's simple and easy and people just love it. And it's just really beautiful to look at too. So I'm gonna make room in the refrigerator for this. And hopefully tomorrow I'll come back whenever we cut it and I'll show you what it looks like after it's been cut. But one time we had a big gathering and we had this and several desserts and we had some of this left and we ate this, I would say it was about six days later, and it was just so good. The longer you leave it in the refrigerator, the better it is. So it probably won't last that long, but it's really good, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.